Hello, Watermark families. I am so glad you joined me today. I am super excited about what I'm going to share with you from the Bible. And we know what the Bible is. It's absolutely true. That's right. Get your hands ready. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Everything the Bible says is absolutely true. It is. And you may remember that last week we talked about when Jesus went up, 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 back to God in heaven. Today we're going to talk about a very special promise that Jesus gave his disciples. And I brought a clue for you. Let me get it. Do you know what this is? That's right. It's a present or a gift. You see, Jesus had promised his disciples that he would send them a very special gift. But before Jesus went back to heaven to be with God, he told his disciples to stay in Jerusalem. And you know what they did? They stayed in Jerusalem. Get your hands ready for this part. You're going to help me. They stayed in a home together and they remembered, they prayed, and they waited. They remembered that God had a rescue plan to save the world from sin. He had sent Jesus who had lived, who died on the cross, who was buried for three days, but then he rose again and he stayed with his disciples for 40 days, teaching them and reminding them of all that they needed to know before he went back to be with God in heaven. So they remembered. Next, they prayed. They prayed trusting God because they knew that God always keeps his promises. And Jesus is God's son, so he always keeps his promises too. And finally, they waited. They waited for the special gift that Jesus had promised. So after waiting for a few days, all of a sudden, they began to hear a wind that came blowing into the home where they were. It came into the room where they were praying, and all of a sudden, there was flames on top of their heads, kind of like this. And not only that, they began to feel a change on the inside too. The gift that Jesus had promised had come. The disciples had received the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the helper. He gives, the helper gives power, Jesus power. Isn't that an awesome gift? You see, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to help people who follow him. Now that they had received the Holy Spirit, they were ready to do God's work. So they went out into the streets and they told everybody the good news about Jesus, that he's alive and he loves them. And all the people who heard the good news about Jesus and trusted him, they became his followers too. Do you know what we call a group of people who follow Jesus? His church. I bet some of you thought it was this. Nope, church is not a place we go. The church is his people. That's right. People who follow Jesus are called his church. So this special day that we are talking about is called Pentecost. Can you say that with me? Pentecost. Some people refer to this as the birthday of the church. Speaking of the church, you know, things are a little different right now. We don't all get to come together at the building, but guess what? You're being the church right where you are in your communities, and thanks for doing that. Something really important that I want to share with you is if we trust Jesus to save us from our sins, the Holy Spirit comes and lives inside of us, and we become a part of his church too. Now that we have the Holy Spirit living in us, we can go and do the good work of God and tell everyone about Jesus. So be thinking this week about who you can tell about Jesus and how much he loves them. So today we've learned from the Bible that Jesus sent his Holy Spirit to help those people who follow him. And those people who follow him are called his church. Now families, take a moment and pray thanking God for the Holy Spirit and for his church. Thank you for being here and we'll see you next time.